So I see in your shoulder here on your back, uh, you, you've a, you're on Instagram? Yeah, Instagram, um, the calf man. Yeah. How long are you at that? I think we're in year two, just this. Yeah. this. Look, if I see a nice picture, I'll take a picture of it and throw it up. But yeah. Did a poll recently and they, they want to see a wee bit more of farm activity and stuff. So for my sins, I went and got a selfie stick tripod and I'm going to have to start doing a wee bit of footage. Like, yeah. but no turning it's back. It's getting so. the time, hey. Yeah. I could go a week and not put anything on it. Um, yeah. And there's no pressure or anything. When you, when you start putting content up and getting followers, they expect to see it every yeah. couple of days. And yeah. I suppose I need to go that way. But And I suppose it leads us into maybe discussing about uh, your, your brand or your scallop speckle park. Yeah. It's a, it's a passion for you and it's something you're looking to develop. Yeah, so when other people are maybe watching Netflix and looking through genetics of Speckle Park and trying to get caught up where we're 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 new to the party like but Why why Speckle Park? So why why did you uh, uh everything about uh, everything about the breed interested me in terms of their gestation, their calvinies, their their growth rates, you know, and obviously their markings are, are just something you can enjoy looking at. Um, the excitement when you go to a cow calvin, whether, instead of whether, is it just a, a bull or a heifer, it's now is it a bull, is it a white bull, black bull, speckled bull, you know, it's something to look forward to. Um, and they perform, I think it's one of the most underrated breeds, but it is, it actually is the fastest growing, fastest growing breed in Europe at the moment. So we tried to get in early, uh, went international and, and, and purchased a substantial amount of embryos and brought them in. Um, now we're just trying to get them turned into calves, you know. And so you were saying earlier about the, the background to the, to the say, Speckle Park. What, what is, you know, what is it? Is, it's a hybrid, is it? Yeah, so I suppose, um, historically speaking, it, it would have been a hybrid in TC Shorthorn, White Park and Angus. Um, someone found, basically, that this, this made this lovely speckled animal and it didn't have any horns and it was easy worked with, quiet, and, and it was growthy. So the, they pushed on and tried to replicate it and eventually ended up with uh, the breed Speckled Park. Um, there's, there's quite a few breeders in the south and some there uh, on the mainland. There's only a, one other breeder that I know of in the north of Ireland here, um, up in Antrim direction. But uh, I'm the type of person, if I go into something, I have to go in all in, you mm. know. and. We wanted something that was unique to the breed in Europe and the UK, so we we went international and, and spent spent quite a bit of money in, in getting the embryos over here into the north of Ireland, and now we're implanting them. Okay, Pro prove the concept, and then we will have we will have genetics for sale, uh, embryos, and hopefully calves. You know, right? So that that starts there in a couple of weeks, I think. Is it or shortly next week? Is it or yeah? So we've fifteen heifers there that are synchronized. They're heat detecting tomorrow, implanting next Friday. Yeah. So, say two years time, who are you hoping to sell animals to, say, or? or um, I think there's a place, well, there's obviously the place for that white bull to the Dairyman, but he doesn't have to be anything special. A Dairyman won't really have a bull that lasts too long, to be fair now. Um, not in Northern Ireland anyway. And they'll use and abuse the bull and get what they need out of it. And then what I'm breeding, I would hope, would be a bit too premium of product to, to treat that way. So yeah. I want to see the bulls going into the suckler herd. Um, a white speckled park bull to a limousine would throw some remarkable roan calves, you know, and they'd have no horns, they'd be growthy, but they'd probably reduce the age of the slaughter significantly compared to the commercial stock. Mm. So mm. There's definitely a margin for, there's a gap in the market for it, like, you know. Yeah. And so the name Scallop then, what's the background to that? And so we're, we're in Derry Scallop, the, the yeah. townland's Derry Scallop, and we're in Derry Scallop Road, and locals call it Scallop. Um, yeah. So there's, a national trust site there behind us there that, the grove you see a, a clump of trees yeah so there's there's a tree in the in the logo but it also relates back to the the orchards it's an apple tree and we have quite a lot of sweet apple trees on the farm so okay I, just to, trying to market it you know internationally hopefully like that's where we're selling genetics to would be yeah. the international market yeah so look, we might have a, a, cup, a look at some of the speckled park calves, I think is there? Is yeah, there I'd love here? to show you them, yeah. And uh, maybe even some of the recipients there for the embryos. Yeah, I do. So Glenn, for people that might not be familiar with the speckled park, that's, we have a few examples here. This is what you can expect to get off a, off a dairy cow, um, using a white pointed bull. These are from Lamore Goliath, a breeder there, Pat Morrison, and 
I got embryos off him before, you know, quite friendly with him. Um, I would give this semen out to, to dairy men in return for the calf. Obviously, I'll buy the calf. Um, if you look behind you, there's some recipients that are going to get there. They're off another speckled pork bull. Yeah. But these sell really well. Typically, if you had an Angus heifer, it'll make less than an Angus bull. Mm. It's actually the other way around with speckled pork. These heifers, I seen three going through Market Hill there three weeks ago at 360. Average 360 is four week old heifer calves. The suckler farmers are. It actually tends to be the suckler farmer's wife wants a couple yeah. for herself, you know. Right. Um, nice to look at. And they're nice to look at yeah. and they make good mothers, plenty of milk. Yeah. Um, and they will throw that marking to a calf, regardless mm. of what bull you use, mm. there's a chance you'll get a nicely marked calf, you know. Yeah. Um, these ones here would be, actually there's a good example. These two are, again, in fact these three are heifers of... Uh, a dairy, a dairy cow, and they would be just a bull in age, you know, 14, 15 months. Yeah. Haven't been hard pushed. They were all out winter, so. Yeah. They would grow a really thick winter coat. Okay. So they do, they, they out winter really, really well. Okay. Did you say they originated in Canada? Originated in Canada, yeah. but there are three native breeds that yeah. made it up. You yeah, know? yeah, okay. That's fine. So you have some more outside anything in the field here? Yeah, we have four pedigree calves there that were, came off an embryo implant from last year. Um, all of them were born on average of 278 days gestation. Right. Every one of them were spat out. Two of them I didn't even see yet, Calvin. Mm. I checked the cameras at 11 o'clock and checked them again at one and two calves sucking their mother. So the dream really, you know. Yeah, easy care. Very, very easy. Um, to calve down, there was no issues at all. The last one that I talked about was the section, was actually anything I put an embryo in and it didn't hold the embryo, if it was scanned not in calf, it got a limousine straw. <coughs> or sorry, if it repeated, it got limousine straw because if I put a speckled park straw in it, I wouldn't have known whether it was pedigree or not in there, you know. And one of them limousines, like I say, got a section, whereas the rest of them, speckled park didn't. Now these are only in this field for easy access for the next embryo they're getting. Yeah. And there's two bulls like I would be interested in showing you. This one here is scallop kaleidoscope. A lovely animal. Really, really long, good bull. Only three months of age. And he's got an end on him, you know, it's not like yeah, it's easy. not like it won't give you the shape. You yeah. Know? This is a heifer. This is what you can expect to see with a jet black. And then that's a full brother to this boy. And then two bulls are off the, uh, a bull Minimir Leander who Pop Morrison brought uh, semen in from. $35,000 bull. I think it shows. But this bull that's walking up this is probably one of the best shaped speckled park bulls I've seen. Yeah. Um, Cracker Jack, he's called. All the all the names this year begin with K. Okay. But as a three month old bull and the shape to that boy, you know, if you disregarded the markings, you would think you were looking at a commercial bull there. Like. Yeah, yeah. Fine animal. Loads of style about him. Just stands showing off all the time. He's got a bit of spackle at his feet, but you know, that's the white type of bull that you'd want to put into a dairy cow, but that would be wasted on a on a dairy farmer, really. Yeah. And they've all got the logo in the ears, something uh, Countryside Services did for us. And the pedigree's all got the, the logo on their ear oh, tag. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So three bulls, one heifer. Not really the ratio that it was after, but this black heifer can breed any of them three bulls. There's no relation, no parentage, no uh, crossing, cross yeah. breeding there. Um, and she's got length to her as well in shape for, for a heifer, you know. So you'd hope to send, say, it's the bulls really into a suckler herd is kind of where you'd like to see them going. Well, a kaleidoscope will stay. Yeah. I, I think the length to him is something I want to keep in the herd, you know, yes. and the shape. Yeah. I mean, if I had room, I would keep both kaleidoscope and Cracker Jack, but yeah. Cracker Jack, I think will have a lot of interest in a, an AA company, you know, white, they always keep white park bulls, and that's something that you're not going to find on yeah. every 
on every farm, you know. So if you if you put that white bull there on a, a freezing cow or whatever, what would you get? You'll get markings that I've shown you. Like like below. Yeah. Okay. Um, but looking at this bull, probably more shape, I would imagine. Yeah. Know? He's just so much shape about him. It's, it's early days. I don't know what he's going to turn into. But yeah. And so the, the, he's the guy beside him then? could throw anything. Okay. He could throw black, white. This one here is a, like called a leopard. Yeah. Bit of, bit of black <laughs> through the white. Yeah. Um, or he could throw like himself, the classic markings. Yeah. And even at cloth, classic markings, he's very black, blacky sort of bull in comparison. But hey, it's early days. They have to get a fertility scored. You know, they're semen checked. They have to get a... They have to stay alive. You know, yeah. you have to kind of keep them going. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're on a creep feeder. We got this condon creep feeder um, a couple of months ago. Now, when these embryos are done, when they get re-implanted re with embryos, the commercial speckle parks, which were over the hill there, I'll take you to see them if you want. We'll uh, split them bulls and halfers and put them under that reseed left and yeah. right. Okay. Um, and keep the creep feeder with the bulls, mm. probably, because the halfers are more than likely going to stay here. Yeah you know, recipients and maybe carry on a wee bit with a commercial. You have to pr you have to prove the commercial concept as well of the Spaggle Park. Yeah. And uh, when you go to the field here to see the commercial ones, you'll see a lot yeah. of commercial Spaggle Park calves out of a dairy cross dam. Um, well, we, we were definitely in the dairy side here. A lot of people talking about Speckle Park that, you know, uh, people are, are introducing it. Yeah, it's big a, in the south. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, slower. It's getting, it's slower getting bigger. Trickling up here, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. But there's bulls, that, like all the northern companies keep a speckled park bull, so there's people using them. They're just, you wouldn't see them too often, you know. No, no. And I'd like to change that, you know. No. What are we looking at here, Glenn? So, so we lined up a bunch of potential recipients, and uh, uh, the uh, embryo technician was very, very particular on which ones he put an embryo in. Yeah. And apparently these ones wouldn't have suited an embryo. Why? He does an internal scan, or yeah, he maybe okay. can't anticipate whether it's ovulating on the left or right, or whatever the case be. Yeah, uh, maybe cystic or something. But um, we had them ready; they were bullying. So as soon as they repeated again, they all got served within a week. Yeah, with speckled park semen. Now, what you're seeing there, the two red limousines, they got embryos. So we put six in and got four calved. So those two, we put in a red straw because if they came out speckled park we wouldn't have known maybe it was a false heat or something you know so what you're seeing there is basically speckled park semen commercial semen used on a dairy bred heifer and that's what you'll get you yeah. know in my opinion still a nice still shape a fine animal yeah nothing wrong with them um th well they're standing again a limousine there yes the limi limousines are three weeks uh, younger but I mean, they're shaped up by there, for example, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we ended up with commercial stock, although we didn't want to turn into a suckler farmer. We wanted to be pedigree breeders. And we won't do this again, although uh, we're happy with it. But our time needs to be spent on the calf operation and the pedigree operation. No passengers. If it doesn't hold an embryo, it will unfortunately go on to uh, one of our beef men. Yeah. 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 One chance. That's it. But no, we're happy to see them. The heifer calves here now will probably carry on within the herd just to continue proving the, the Speckle Park commercial yeah. uh, side of things. But the bull calves here will get squeezed and and go on to... Do do one winter here and move on then again? You'll sell them as stores. Um, these ones will do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, be, they'll be sold next year probably. Yeah. Might even dress them and put them through a Christmas show and sale or something like that, you know. Okay. Now we will have batches of bull calves that will match them, that they can easily join in there, a batch of dairy bread, uh, but. And then this girl here that is Grace's pattern is a real pet, but she's the one, the last one to calve, and she was the one that got the section. Okay. So she was. Um, yeah. She doesn't look the worst for it anyway. No, I just seen there the stitches as well out now. Um, when did that happen? She was the last to calve, so I suppose we're talking four weeks ago now. Or yeah. Just a big calf inside or what? Backwards? Yeah. Just going backwards, absolutely no room. Um, actually, she didn't have a limousine. That's her calf. If you can see, 
it's a speckled park marking, but instead of where black is, it's her dun colour. And that's her laying down there. Okay. The first calf? Oh, yeah, the first one there, yeah. yeah, yeah it's like yeah. a brown and white dun. Yeah. So you can sort of manipulate the markings on them. Yeah. Um, oh, very good. And look, as, as you were saying, we're in the Archer County, and I suppose, again, it's a nice example here. A nice orchard over here on the far side. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that belt, like uh, Robert was telling you earlier, that belt will continue all the way down there to Loch Hall and round Armagh. Yeah. Um, orchards, that's our orchards, and then Armagh are Loch Hall to port it out a lot of orchards as well. Um, and, and he was saying it's it's the height above sea level. Perfect, and soil perfect type. elevation. And it's not too high, not, not too low, and it's well, frost related. That's right, that's right yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, they have their bad years as well when there's a wicked late frost or something like that, but yeah. I know very little about orchards. Um, but I love to see an apple tree and in the field there's hardly a field here that doesn't have some form of apple tree like yeah. you know okay every area has its advantages that's right and apple yeah. suited here apple suited here every farm would have had some form of orchard yeah robert's uh health dictated that he, he just took them out after a while and it was either a case of getting the younger shorter varieties in or taking all the orchards out and he chose the latter yeah yeah, yeah a lot of work in them you know and i think it's, you have to have quantity over yeah very good Sure, Glenn, thanks for your time here today. Yeah, and, uh, pleasure having you. Best of luck with your breeding. Yeah, hope it all goes and well. Obviously, for people to follow you on uh, Instagram. and Yeah, Instagram at the Calfman would be yeah, great. Uh, yeah. Any followers appreciate it. And, and you'll have yeah. obviously future breeding stock for people if they have an interest in the. Absolutely, that's park. the plan. That's yeah. the plan, yeah. Yeah, great. Okay, thank all you. Right, thank you very much.